Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a numerical expression, an exponential expression. We have 22 to the power 44 divided by 44 to the power 22. And we're going to simplify this expression as much as possible. I'm also going to show you a numerical value at the end because we're going to get a nice number at the end. So I'll be presenting two methods, even though there's kind of like a general approach, which you could consider the third method. Let's get started with the first one. I'm pretty sure you're going to come up with different methods for this too. So for my first method, I'm going to go ahead and break down the denominator. I mean the base. Notice that 44 is 2 times 22, so that's good to know. So we can go ahead and write it as follows. 22 to the power of 44 divided by 44 to the power of 22 can be written as 22 to the power of 44. The numerator is going to stay the same for now. And the denominator, I'm just going to go ahead and break this down into 2 times 22. And then, of course, we have to raise it to the power of 22, right? So that's my expression now. Now, when you have something like a times b to the power n, how do you simplify it? Let's write the formula. a times b in parentheses to the power n can be written as a to the power n times b to the power n. And this is very easy to prove if n is an integer. If n is not an integer, that's a different story. But um, if you think about it, this is basically writing the a, b, n times and multiply and you know, commutativity and associativity allows us to put the A's together and B's together. Of course, if those two rules don't apply, like there are some different sets for which they don't apply, then this doesn't work. But with the case of integers, it works. So now we can break down the denominator as 2 to the power 22 times 22 to the power 22. So in other words, the power of a product is the product of powers so that we can get to keep the same exponent. Great. So how do we simplify from this point on? So I noticed that I get two numbers. By doing this, I get two numbers whose bases are the same like this. And another rule applies. And that rule is basically if you have a to the power m divided by a to the power n, then this is equivalent to a to the power m minus n. Make sense? So in other words, if you're dividing two powers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. So we're going to focus on exponents here, and we're going to subtract, and uh, this is just going to be 1 over 2 to the power 22, so it's going to look like this. 22 to the power 44 minus 22, that's going to be 22, divided by 2 to the power 22. So this will stay at the bottom. So I'm just going to work with the ones that I circled or boxed or whatever that shape is. Okay, great. Now, another rule applies again. Uh, this first one, but for quotients. And let's go ahead and write that down too so you kind of have an idea what rules are being used here. And that rule is if you divide a to the power n by b to the power n, so the bases are different, but the exponents are the same. And the bases don't have to be different, by the way. But if they're all the same, then you're going to get 1, obviously. We can write this as a over b to the power n. So we kind of get to write these with a common exponent, because they have the same exponent. So this can be written as 22 divided by 2, all of that, to the power 22. You see the common power? That's what we use. And 22 divided by 2 is 11, so this gives us the answer. 11 to the power 22. Now we're going to look at the numerical value, but you can kind of have an idea because 11 is slightly larger than 10, and this should be greater than 10 to the power 22, obviously, right? But anyways, that's the large. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you what numerically that number is at the end. Okay, so far so good. So this would be the answer. And that brings us, not to the end of the video, but to the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Again, we start with the original problem, 22 to the power 44 divided by 44 to the power 22. So what makes second method different from the first one is with the first one, 
we kind of broke down the base in the denominator. And this time, we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to write the numerator as something squared. Why? Another property applies here, and let's go ahead and write that down too. And that property is a to the power n to the power k can be written as a to the power n k. All right? You can use any variable you want, basically. But when you have a power and you raise it to another exponent or power, it's kind of like a superpower property. I guess sometimes it's called power of a power property. And uh, you multiply the exponents. Make sense? Okay. And there's a reason for that, obviously. If you write the a to the power n k times, that means you're going to add the n plus n plus n. That's going to be written k times and added, and that's going to be equivalent to n times k. Easily proven. So now we're going to do that. But to break it down, I'm going to use the exponent at the bottom. So how do I use that? I'm going to write this as 22 to the power 44, and but I'm going to write it as 22 to the power 22 times 2. And then I'm going to use this rule backwards, kind of like this way. So if you have a product, you can basically write it like this. 22 to the power 22, and I think I don't need parentheses here, 22 to the power 22, and then that raised to the second power. Because the rule says, hey, if you have power over power or superpowers, you multiply the exponents. And here they're being multiplied. Make sense? Okay, cool. Now, that is divided by 44 to the power 22. Now, what am I going to do with this? Well, something squared. What does that mean? What does a squared mean? Well, a squared means a times a. So that's another property. I don't know whatever you want to call that definition that we're going to use. So it's going to look like this. Let me continue for, with this problem here. So I can write this as 22 to the power 22 multiplied by itself because anything squared is that thing multiplied by itself. And now I have this breakdown. What can I do with it, right? I can go ahead and put these two guys together because they do share the exponent. Make sense? And we already talked about it, right? When two powers are being divided with the same exponent, then that means they have a common exponent and that becomes the exponent of the quotient. Make sense? Cool. So this is equivalent to 22 to the power 22 times. Now, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to divide 22 by 44. I'm going to divide the bases and use the common exponent. Make sense? But 22 over 44 is 1 half. I can simplify it, right? Let's simplify it and write it as 1 half. And then now another rule applies again, a over b to the power n, which we wrote here. The same property is being kind of used. So now we're going to turn it into this, 22 to the power 22 times 1 to the power 22 divided by 2 to the power 22. But 1 to the power 22 is just 1, so you can totally forget about it. Just write it 1. And we have 22 to the power 22 divided by 2 to the power 22 because it, this is at the bottom, right? <laughs> okay, what do you do with that? Well, here's what you can do. Oh, by the way, I could also do it as follows. Anyways, it doesn't really matter, no big deal. I can kind of write, uh, divide the bases and use a common exponent, and that gives us 11 to the power 22. We got the same answer again. That shouldn't be a surprise. Now, what is the general method? I don't know if you want to call that uh, third method or just general method. It's basically we, we're looking at an expression like x to the power 2x divided by 2x to the power x. And you can break this down in so many different ways, one of which is basically writing it as x to the power x times x to the power x divided by 2 to the power x times x to the power x. x to the power x cancels out. You end up with this. They have the same exponent. You can write it as x over 2 to the power x. In this case, x is equal to 11, right? I mean 22, not 11. <laughs> That's so fast. X, x equals 22. Half of 22 is 11. 11 to the power 22 will be the answer. So you can also solve it in general form and the numerical value. Here we go. Wow, that's such a large number, but that shouldn't be a surprise, right? Because we were expecting that to have 23 digits roughly. And it does. It's pretty close to 24 digits, but just missing the 10 by a little bit. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.